Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today, I want to talk about the new V4 Never Loose Servo Saver. This is the new design that they came up with on the uh, V4 uh, eight scale trucks. Um, I touched on it briefly in a video yesterday, but I finally got it apart. Um, so I really want to show you what's going on. So I have an V3 style, or probably they, they were always this way um, until they changed them. And what the, the people were having problems with this adjustable nut right here, you can see this, would slowly work its way down and loosen up. And then it would, you know, allow these two halves to split easily when you're turning. And, you know, maybe not too noticeable on the, uh, like on a Typhon or maybe even Italian with the small lighter tires, but definitely on the, the Creighton and the uh, Notorious or Outcast, which has the big tires. So, you know, whenever this backed itself down and, and tension came off the spring, which holds these two halves together, um, your steering would become, you know, terrible. So, they came up with a new design. Now, before I get into that, just in case anyone's new, you want to, when you take your truck apart, like over here, here, um, take the front end off and you just, just sits, um, you know, on top of these posts. You want to slide this off and you want to get rid of these uh, bushings that are in here. And you want to replace them with bearings. And the bearing you want to use is a 6 by 10 by 3 uh, bearing. It's like, let's get it up in front of the, it's like that big. And you're going to put that um, in four places on here. It's good. One's going to go right down there. The other one's going to go on the top up here. See that? Um, and then the other one here and one here when you get these, these out. So it'll make your steering much better. You don't want bushings. I don't know why they even use them, but they're not the only company that does so. In any event, so to solve the problem of this nut backing off while you're running your truck, they came up with this new design over here. So what I'll first let me I'm kind of doing this off the top of my head, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I'm going to take this apart, all right, and show you what we got. So we got this collared nut, you got your spring, and then you got the bottom half of the servo saver the top half of the servo saver and then this is what they call the hub so this is it everything in between it and this is how you adjust the tension okay adjust is the key word that we're getting to now this guy i when i first got my italian i couldn't figure out how this was adjusted all i saw was this nut all the way down on the bottom over here and i said geez that looks low i mean it's that's it's way loose because i normally when i run this one i would run this thing <laughs> I like a tight servo saver, I would run it pretty far up. So, you know, I had a good amount of space on the bottom. And I saw this and it's all the way down and I'm like, this, I got to tighten that up. And then I went to try to tighten it and you can't even get, you can't tighten it the way you would this old one. And you had, so I took the truck apart when I had it apart and I was like, how does this thing even work? So I, then I wanted to then take it apart. And I could not hold the top of my hand and get a wrench on here and unscrew this. It was literally impossible so then i got a pair of uh vice grips i put them on the top and i still couldn't get it apart and then i gave up and then when i finally had it apart the second time i said you know what i i knew i was I, this was coming in the mail because i had a feeling i was not gonna like this new design so i grabbed one of these off of jenny's rc there uh this is this is from a Senton, but they're all the same and then i said well i don't really don't care now so i really gripped onto it you can see the teeth marks here from the vice grips and i it took a lot of work to get this apart so it comes apart and the first thing i noticed was all this thread lock all over this and then you pull this so there's a washer there's the bottom half there's the spring and then take that out all right, and then you look in here, and let me see if I can get the right angle, but it's just tons and tons of thread lock in there. And what they don't tell you about their new never loose servo saver is that it's also never tighten. 
it is not adjustable. When you put this thing back together, and it is hard even to get this thing in, there's so much thread lock in there, it's ridiculous. Um, so I can't even screw this thing in, but you know, the way this thing is meant to be run is it's not like you're gonna be um, you know, messing around with do I only want it, you know, three turns in or one turn out from the back. No, 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 no. Because that would change the overall height of this. This has to be. Um, when it's all screwed together, it's going to be the same overall height as, as this. And you can see right now, if it's not screwed in, it's longer, it's taller. So this is meant to be screwed all the way in and thread locked. And that's it, not adjustable at all. All right. So, and when I tell you that it is a pain in the ass to get this thing apart, it is a pain in the ass. And you're going to do a number, um, you know, on the top half of the actual servo sa the servo saver this is called the hub um getting this thing apart and you're not going to want to be pulling this thing apart i i'm pretty sure you're going to if you do take this apart you're going to want to thread lock it back together because you don't want these two halves twisting and turning from each other when it's on there you don't want them coming apart so you know it's going to be a nightmare um and the only way you can get more tension See here on the old style, you just screwed up that nut and you made it as tight as you wanted to be up to a certain point. It would only go so far, but you could get it that far. All right. Um, this one, the only way you're going to get any tension on this thing is to add more of these washers. And, you know, you look up that part number and you know what you're going to get? The whole assembly. You can't get this from Arma, just the washer. Um, so, you know, you would need a bunch of them to make any sort of difference. They're one mil, I measured them, they're one millimeter thick. Okay, so guys that are having these things slip already and you wanna move it up there, you're gonna to have to add probably three of these, uh, two to three. And you know, you're gonna, I, I measured it, hold on, let me see if I can, I wrote it down somewhere. Yeah, okay, so the inside diameter of this washer is 12.21, millimeters the outside is 17.88 it's one millimeter thick and the actual hub itself is exactly 12 millimeters diameter so that's why this has got to be a little bit bigger so that it fits over it so there are your options so you know you, you know they showed you the picture and it's got this little rubber uh gasket seal you're like, oh, maybe that'll keep it from backing down. No, that's that's I don't even really know what that's for, <laughs> to be honest with you. I mean, this thing is meant to be screwed together tight, loctited, and it stays exactly one length. So I really, I just wanted to pass that along. I believe the springs stayed the same. Um, I'm trying to see if I can see if one feels, you know, it's, it's really hard to tell by feel. Actually, this one feels a little springier than this one this one feels pretty stiff and that's the one that came off the the new old style i should say so um but i wanted to pass this information along because i know there's going to be people like me that are going to be like why can't i adjust this thing what am i doing wrong um you're doing nothing wrong it's not adjustable so arma's answer to these things coming loose is you just make it so that they're just they're immovable there, that that was the deal. So, if you're running bigger tires on your Creighton or you're having problems with your servo saver, you know, st with the half separating, uh, you really you can switch. Like I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this on my tire. And I, I'm not even having an issue with this, but I just don't want this thing on there. Um, I'm gonna switch to the old style. Or you know, if you have one of these and you can't find any of the old ones, you can you know you can crack this thing open here and you can add washers below the spring to just add more attention. So anyway, guys, I hope you found that informative. Um, and I really appreciate you watching my videos. I will see you uh, soon. Peace.